Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. Today we will see underwriting in a special case. The special case is the here, firm underwriting. Firm underwriting. On the very first day of our class, I told you what is firm underwriting. Under, let me give you a small recap. Underwriters, suppose say A, B are underwriters. They gave surety of 100%. Company has issued 10 lakh shares. 50-50, 5-5 lakh they are ready to take the risk and they are ready to give the commitment. But along with that they wanted to buy few shares for themselves. Few shares, say 10,000 by A, 10,000 by B. They wanted to keep some shares out of this 5-5 lakh. This shares whenever they wanted to keep it with them, they wanted to buy for personal for themselves, then this is called as firm underwriting. Firm underwriting. So, this related small problem will work out. Same like previous problem, small twist is there that you have to understand. Nothing is there. Very simple. Focus just 5 10 minutes. Did you understand firm underwriting? Firm underwriting means nothing but the underwriters, along with their commitment, along with their guarantee, they wanted to buy few shares which the company has already issued by few shares for themselves that is firm underwriting okay now let's focus on the problem ranjani limited issued 1 lakh shares of 100 rupees each ranjani limited issued 1 lakh shares of 100 rupees each we have nothing to do with this 100 rupees we need only shares at what rate they are issuing that we are not going to calculate we are not going to calculate the value of the shares Okay, we need to know only the shares, how many shares company issued. Company issued 1 lakh, ignore this 100 rupees, not required, we are not going to calculate. All the shares underwritten by A 50,000, B 30 and C 20,000. 50, 30, 20 means 1 lakh, 1 lakh is underwritten by A, B, C like 50, 30 and 20, total underwritten. Now the addition, in addition, there was a firm underwritten. Firm underwritten means underwriters, they wanted to keep some share, they wanted to buy few shares for them. So that is firm underwritten. Firm underwritten as follows. A is going to buy 10,000 shares, B 7,500, C is also 7,500. This is firm underwritten. Keep this point with you. Okay. Then after that, rest of the problem is normal. Only one point we got it extra. Firm underwritten. Next, applications received are 80,000 shares. Issued 1 lakh, but we got applications of 80,000 only. The following are the marked by marked shares. By A 15,000, marked by A 15, B 20, and uh, C is 7,500. Prepare a statement showing allocation of liability. You know that statement showing the liability of underwriters, that statement we have prepared particulars A, B, C, 3 are underwriters, 3 columns. First, what do we do? As usual, gross liability we take. Gross liability. Actually, it is 1 lakh issued. How much they are ready to take? 50,000, 30,000, 20,000. This is gross liability. We have written 50, 30 and 20. We will take out the ratio of this 50,000, 30,000 and 20,000. Very easy. If you cancel all the fours, four zeros, we will get 5 is to 3 is to 2. Four zeros cancelling, cancelling. So, you got 5 is to 3 is to 2. Need not to calculate separately. Ratio is very clear. Then after that, what do we do? Minus marked applications. How many are marked, appli marked applications? Here it is said. The following are the marked by A, B, C. So, this we are going to deduct. Minus marked applications. 15,000, 20,000, 7,500. 15, 20, 7,500. Deduct it. You got 35, 10 and 12,500. Out of this, what do we do next? Marked applications deducted. Next, unmarked applications. Unmarked applications in the problem, it is not given. We have to work out it on the working notes. Working notes, calculation of unmarked applications. For this, what we have to do? Total applications received. Total applications received how much? 80,000 we have received. Applications received 80,000. 80,000 return. 
minus marked application so that you get the unmarked 80000 minus marked where is marked marked are here 15 27500 15 deducted so you got 37500 this is unmarked total applications received minus marked applications you got unmarked applications unmarked applications you have to divide it to the all the underwriters in the same ratio gross liability ratio okay 37500 5 is to 3 is to 2 ratio 5 plus 3 plus 2 comes to 10 right so 37500 into 5 divided by 10 you get 18350 37500 into 3 divided by 10 so you get 11250 in the same way 37500 into 2 by 10 you get 7500 so like this we have distributed this unmarked applications to a b and c the same thing we are going to post here unmarked applications the same one i have posted deduct it you are getting here 16500 but for b it is minus value actual liability is here uh, 10000 but unmarked is 11250 means minus value so i have written in brackets if you want we can write it in uh, minus value also rather than brackets if we want there is an option we can write minus 1250 also okay and uh, c is okay positive this is what we got it minus value what do we do in the last class only we have learned minus means it is surplus surplus of b should be transferred to a and c in the ratio of 5 is to 2 a and c a is 5 c is 2 so we are writing minus surplus of b transferred to a and c in the ratio of 5 is to 2 how much is b is B is 1250. 1250 is transferring in the ratio of 5 is to 2. 1250 into 5 by 7, you get 893. 1250 into 2 by 7, you will get 4000, where it is? 3757. Okay. So, like this, we have distributed. And 1250, we have to cancel it surplus. Now, we have over. It's over. So, we are writing plus 1250. This is nil. Over up to here we have learned same like previous problem surplus is transferred to the rest of the underwriters now the question raises that firm underwrite underwritten amount is given firm underwritten means they have underwritten they are saying that we are going to purchase this much of shares for our personal means liability is increasing now when they have given the commitment this we are going to purchase for ourselves means liability is increasing that is the reason we are adding at the end of the problem add firm underwriting are you getting this point only this point you have to be very clear so far whatever we have done everything is we know firm underwriting we are adding why this is the commitment they said that we are going to purchase it when they are going to purchase it liability is going to increase that is the reason we are adding firm underwriting. How much is firm underwriting? They said, in addition, there was a firm underwritten as follows. 10,000, 7,500, 7,500 that we have added. 10,000, 7,500, 7,500 we have added. Now, at the end, net liability comes to this much. Before this, adding this firm underwriting, B's liability was nil. When we have added this firm underwriting, B's liability is once again increasing to 7500 because of the firm underwriting. Otherwise, it would have been nil. Are you clear? Only this point you have to remember. Whenever they give you firm underwriting, you have to add one more important point. Sometimes they said that uh, these are the underwriting by the, by the underwriters in this firm underwriting is included please note this point firm underwriting is included when the said suppose said these are the commitments in this commitment firm underwriting is included when this says you have to deduct it and show because it's already included it's already included so that you have to deduct it and show when this says it is included otherwise not required 
otherwise generally problem is simple in such case form underwriting we have to add because liability is increasing because of their commitment liability is increasing that we have added so far whatever we have done same like earlier problem we have done lastly we are just adding firm underwriting are you getting it so end of the day net liability of each and every underwriter is like this this is the position am i clear take the screenshot any doubts with this underwriting chapter is completed next uh, i don't know what i have to start let me know what do you want in the comment box uh, so are you following the playlist many subjects already covered and please do share this videos check out the playlist whatever is useful use it and get a good marks study well in advance before exams revise it okay take care and have a bright career good luck